So, how can we accomplish the following synthesis? Well, looking at my starting material and comparing it to my final product, I see that the OH group that I have over here for my phenol has been converted to the corresponding ether, which means that I'm going to be most likely utilizing the Williamson ether synthesis here to accomplish that step. I'm also seeing that the methyl group that we have over here has a new carbon-carbon bond to a vinyl group, which we can easily create through the reaction of the alkanide anions. So with that in mind, the first thing that I'm going to do in this synthesis, I will take my starting material, deprotonate my phenol, and react it with methyl iodide to make my ether functional group over here. And since ethers are very chemically unreactive, we are not going to be afraid that that is going to mess up our further chemistry. Now, in order to make a new carbon-carbon bond with this carbon over here, I need to have a leaving group on this carbon. And to accomplish that, I'm going to do the benzylic halogenation with just something like bromine and light, giving me the following intermediate. Now, I'm going to bring my sodium acetylenide, which is going to be able to do the SN2 reaction and displace that bromine, giving us the following molecule with a triple bond. Which means that the only thing that is left for us now is to take this triple bond and convert that into a double bond by using something like Lindlor's catalyst and the hydrogen, which will selectively convert our triple bond into a double bond, giving us our final product.